Hello guys, welcome back to the crew calling all units, driving all cars, part number 94. The Jeep Wrangler in the Rubicon edition, that's what we are looking at in street spec here at the moment. It comes with three specs, street, dirt and raid. Um, driving towards the bond flat where we do the acceleration test, if it works, because apparently yesterday is not today. Yesterday it all worked fine and not a problem. Today it seems to be a other story. You can do the free drive challenge, that is not a problem. The problem is to finish it. The first three gears are kinda okay, um, they're pretty short and then fourth and fifth are pretty long. Although it has six gears, I already noticed uh, driving it around on the street that it goes to sixth gear when you are approaching 300-305 km an hour, which makes it you high revving and even need to hit the nitro there to make it actually to sixth gear. And at the same time the bug is occurring again. That means that uh, we can't finish this thing although we drove through the finish line and the system knows that we drove through the finish line because if it ever stops the event which we'll do now, I already saw it, you see p uh, people drivers names appear on the screen and then it will eventually give you the result. It did count the result uh, on the finish line though with a 26.491 it's um, well somewhere in the middle of the pack I guess kinda average the fast things are uh, I have rechecked the numbers again this time and um, the KTM did a 25.4 KTM bike but also uh, something like the skyline is under 20 second seconds so uh, 26 point fear is somewhere in the middle of the pack Immediately retry and try to do the same with the dirt and the race pack if we can finish. The dirt spec. A bit more uh, pipes and bits and plastic mainly. And now everything works. Um, except for my name apparently according to my screen I am offline while I'm driving the game there are some serious issues with this game that I can tell you 27.462 also here somewhere in the middle of the pack so uh, pretty obvious that acceleration is not really the strongest point of this thing but who knows maybe the rate spec might surprise us should be looks neat and short and uh, decent rate spec by the looks of it but at least it doesn't have the uh, fifth gear bug thing but it has the rate bug thing that means you can do uh, here on the Bonville flat 240 241 something like that and that's where they uh, sort of get stuck for some reason thirty point three nine two that is uh, also here in the middle of the pack there we have we have a lot of 30 second rate cards and the main issue with that is that uh, well you sort of get stuck at 240 kilometers an hour here so once I have all the cars at 1497 I might do another acceleration test but on the road or something or at least on a dirt road 
with these off-road specs makes more sense I guess and uh, on the road with the street performance and circuit specs 30.3 is somewhere in the middle uh, we also have a few 29 cars and uh, for instance the KTM bike which I think is uh, one of the fastest acceleration wise that is he did uh, uh, let me recheck a 28.9 there in rate spec so uh, no acceleration you can't call that a plus for the best will of the world but seeing it has V8 power by the looks of it like I said I'm not really familiar with uh, what is in this thing here in Europe there is a V6 in it but seeing it says Hemi I'm assuming it's a V8 so um, plus and minus minus is definitely acceleration because it's not that good but maybe it has some decent top speed if you look at it like this it, it accelerates pretty ex decent but yeah then it's here there's the problem long long fourth gear and a long long fifth gear and eventually you get to sixth somewhere around 300 kilometers an hour and you might need the help of a downhill or something or uh, if not then you probably have to help it a bit with uh, nitro that being said we are already doing 335 kilometers an hour I haven't touched the nitro yet we've been testing bikes in the uh, previous videos and we had a 375 from the Indian Scout here and a 378 79 from the Ducati hypermotored and 381 was the KTM slipstream speed uh, for speed traps and such kind of limits there for car wires uh, well not so 100% sure let's see what this thing can do 365 that's this sorta yeah the more street packs you test the more street specs will be able to do 360 there so um, also top speed twice it's not bad of course because there are some street specs which can't even reach 360 kilometers an hour it stops let's just uh, that is something we can shave but <laughs> it seems like uh, not that fast though So, uh, the street spec, um, no idea. It would make sense that it's not that good. Uh, this thing should be better off road, but we'll see that in a minute or two when we test dirt in the race spec. Yes, you have to throw it around a bit because, well, I'm not counting on the brakes. It's pretty heavy car, so uh, that usually means brakes not that good. And we do have an overstar key, uh, oversteer car this time, which is uh, a good thing. At least in my opinion, I prefer it over understeer. That's for sure. Yep. If you hit the brakes it goes into a slide. Solid it definitely is of course, being a jeep it can take a hit. I hit a few fence poles uh, earlier and I didn't even have to repair my car. So Solid is definitely a plus. the understeer corner here slightly tap the brakes and you will slide through it a lot of cars went straight ahead towards the side of the road there so yeah but uh, the long gears are uh, also that's what probably is killing it in acceleration as well because but the overseer isn't um, exaggerating so it's not like uh, you're gonna spin out easily 
because you know it's coming you can uh, anticipate on it and that makes the handling kinda okay I guess really dives into the corners suspension doesn't seem to be a big problem brakes are not that good though. You can get through the corners by tapping the brakes it will go into an oversteer and that uh, easily makes you go through the corners but so the handling itself is kind of okay but the brakes are a failure probably due to the weight. handling uh, to me is kind of okay so I even consider that a plus but that might sound strange but you can just make the corners and you really uh, you had a bumpy corner there we had an understeer corner in our little track and it smoothly went through it it even dived into those corners while other cars just understeer to the side of the road and that wasn't the case with this one so that uh, makes the handling a plus for me but the brakes uh, are a bit of a problem it seems brakes and acceleration so far top speed uh, I'm not going to mention that because it's not like it is bad that means uh, I'm not going to mention it in the plus or in the minus because it's not that bad but there are faster things and there are slower things that is the problem the dirt spec as you can see there uh, the blue cover thing here I, there it also has a police car I do have that at 1497 so I can't take that one um, but performance wise it should be the same uh, let's have a look at the numbers here uh, we can compare now I have uh, two of them 5601 acceleration and 3119 top speed 2207 grip and 6113 braking now let's see what uh, the 1299 car has to offer 5,427 there's already a difference not that much though top speed 3,119 is exactly the same but we'll take this one the 12.99 because those are the ones no I do not want to do a chase in a third spec with they should really really restrict these great missions to uh, specs just like they do with the story mission and the reason I say that it's pretty simple we have this Wrangler for instance in dirt spec police uh, seen it also always has a police car and it's the only one in dirt at the moment so if you have an off-road race off-road great missions but the fact is people are driving either performance circuit specs on the asphalt great missions or they are driving rate specs on the off-road missions so nobody's using street nobody's using dirt so that also means that the street and dirt police cars are useless and for that matter so are the uh, raid specs because in raid we have a Hummer and a Raptor and if people show up with a Mini, Countryman, uh, Ford Focus, the Ruffs <laughs> they just smoke you on speed itself so you can't even catch up not even talking about the fact that you're usually the only cop in the thing against three or four races and they hit you with all the abilities you have and also as a police you do not have a guard or a shield so it is a bit of an issue but if we take out the performance or the circuit spec from the police cars then the racers also have an issue resulting in uh, officer RMD versus the racers uh, I think it's about 15, 16 to 4 or something let's say if we did 20 busted them 16 times and they got away four times meanwhile this thing seems to go um, easily towards 300 of course this is yeah this is made for off-road 
keeps going around 280, 290 all the time. Which, uh, the more I think of it. Already makes it a good dirt spec if you can get high speeds, but how does it handle? Okay, we got some fly situations. Seems to, um, I don't know. Suspension issue might be a thing here. Oh my, just too confident and was going way too fast so that I actually uh, flew out of the corner. But yeah. It doesn't really oversteer even if you tap the uh, brakes. It's more of an understeer this uh, in the dirt spec here. Which makes you fly out of the corners. Might not be that good in the um, yeah it is the long gears, uh, especially the higher ones, seem to be a problem though. Because also this one has six gears, but you barely make them because you're uh, ages in fourth and fifth gear. In the street spec, if you hit the brakes, you go into an oversteer. If you hit the brakes in the dirt spec, you more than uh, fly out of the corners. Sort of means you're getting an understeer. It's not really an understeer because it does make the turn, but then you start sliding sideways out of the corner. So short tap on the brakes sort of makes it oversteer a little bit, but not enough so that you can. S um, smoothly dive through the corner. The little bits are uh, going all over the place, although this thing should be made for off-road. Doesn't seem to be the case that much though. Long, long, long fifth gear. And then you drop. Your RPM meter drops way back. Seeing the shift isn't fast enough. And then you really need to wait till you finally get it going uh, with some decent speed. That's what seems to be the situation in this thing. The gear ratio is not what it should be. How about the speed? 320 plus. That is another story. That is pretty good. So this thing might be useful in something like uh, natural tray in PvP, which are sort of has long straights. Three hundred twenty plus. That's a pretty decent top speed. So I might mention the top speed as a plus as well because um, even in the street spec, three sixty plus is not bad. It just many of them can do it. But rate spec. Kinda look on that. I kinda like it, uh, the rate spec look, but with looks you can't drive, that's the problem. So, how does it handle? Which, in a game like this, is more important than how it looks.
I was getting a decent top speed for this thing, but um, my nitro bar was also as good as empty, so... keeps hanging between 240 and 250 uh, if you give it uh, a few oomphs of nitro here and there. I'm not so sure about this one top speed wise. Let's see when we go in a bit more rough terrain. Seems to keep going though. Yep. It keeps going, but uh, you need to give it some power by uh, giving it some nitro bursts occasionally. Handling wise, yep. Also, this one handles pretty decent. Handling wise, I think. Um, third spec, surprisingly, um, was the worst of the three. And this might just even uh, handle the best of the three. It loses some speed on the higher gears, but um, keeps going though but especially the, the sixth gear is it's it really seems like uh, it's some sort of uh, overdrive that they put in there like a five gear box but somehow they made a six out of it and the result is that You have long fourth and fifth gear, of course. Two hundred and eighty-seven, and I'm not even at the limiter. So, once you have it going, you might even reach three hundred with this thing in some slipstream situation. And then you are talking about minis and uh, Ford Focuses and that can do that. Although speed is not everything in rate because the Mustang can do 290 or something. And it's considered to be the best one. But there are faster rate specs out there. But this one is also one of those faster ones I think. I was doing 280 and I was not on the limiter, so with slipstream you definitely gonna go over 300, uh, most likely with this thing. Best use, that's a good question. Um, so the street, definitely not. The dirt uh, had a strange handling. Um, you hit the brakes, it, do it does make the turn, but then you s slide sideways out of the turns every time. Uh, which sort of makes it a sideways understeer, I guess. So I'm guessing that uh, the best use for this car, I'm going to keep it on the rate spec.
because uh, I kind of like the looks. I kind of like how it handles. It just uh, yeah, it's a bit slow on uh, mainly in fourth and fifth gear, which are long gears, and that goes for the three specs available in this car, and that makes it a bit of a bummer. Spe also in street spec uh, on the mild rack, it was pretty obvious. Uh, the first gears it was quite fast even uh, in the first three. But then 4th and 5th killed the acceleration time for sure. So, long gears acceleration is a minus. The brakes are not that good either. Um, handling is a plus and also top speed seems to be more than okay. We'll see you guys in the next one and bye for now.